The biggest challenge is that there's just so much noise. It's like, have you ever had someone in your home, maybe it's your wife or maybe it's a friend or whatever, just play a really bad song too often? You just play a song and you just think, oh, turn that off. And after a while, it's been on for so long that you, you become immune to it. Like it's just there and it's still on. It's there in the back of your mind and you didn't manage to turn it off. So the noise that I describe in life, whether it's your parents' expectations, whether it's society's expectations, whether it's your partner's expectations, all of those are like noise in the background. And that noise drowns out your ability to understand the mind and the intelligence. That's one of the biggest trip ups. I gave a presentation called Build a Life, Not a Resume. It's also one of my popular videos. The research that I was doing was around the most common resume lies. The truth is over 40 to 50% of us lie on our resumes. Yeah, if you don't, you're missing an opportunity. I'll just say that. Yeah, there you go, right? So, and, and I started to dig deeper and I was looking at, you know, a lot of people lie about their dates of employment. So instead of three days, it's now three months, you know, whatever it may be. Now I dug deeper and I wanted to meet some of these people and speak to people. And so I spoke to people who lie on their resumes and we know that at least 40 to 50% tell us they do. You know, the thing is no one was proud of that. No one, no one was like, yeah, 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 I know I'm going to get... Really what it came down to is we're really insecure about our own abilities. Really what it came down to is we're not confident about what we have to offer. What it came down to is a lack of self-awareness. What it came down to is a lack of understanding. What am I good at? What am I passionate about? What am I bringing to the table? That's what people were really worried about. They were worried about the job, but when you dug beneath the surface, the real behavioral trait that was coming out was insecurity and being unconfident about one's potential. That, that tells us a lot. That indicates a lot about human behavior and human nature. That the noise from outside makes us want to fit into a container. And that stops us from differentiating between what is my mind saying and what is my intelligence saying. And what happens is that noise becomes your voice. So that noise becomes what you think is what you're saying. I'm a huge fan of the book Thinking Fast and Slow. Just being able to differentiate between system one and system two, as Daniel Kahneman calls it in the Vedic philosophy, we call differentiating between the mind and the intelligence. Knowing how to differentiate the voices in your head is the first level of self-awareness. So break down what system one and system two are. Absolutely, so system one is your initial response to anything that happens. It's, it's a stop that I can't really say. So if you say something I don't like, my system one naturally would be a face that I pull that I'm like, I don't agree with that. That's, that's the understanding of what system one is. It's your initial default reaction in the moment. That can be positive often. For example, if someone pulls out a knife, you feel scared and you run. That's system one, that's a good thing. It's, it's safe for you. But also system one is someone says something that hurts your ego and you start defending yourself immediately. That's also, that's a negative of system one. That we would refer to as the mind. It's built up of conditioning. Those responses are conditioned, those default elements are all there because of habit and continuous practice. The system two is more like the intelligence, what I would say is more like the parent. If you can consider system one to be more like a child, system two is more like a parent. It looks more at the long term, it looks more at the bigger picture. It processes that default reaction through a set of checking and metrics to decide whether that's true. The child is the, the one that wants everything right away, impatient, quickly responding, straight away uh, reacting when it doesn't get what it wants. The intelligent parent, a good one, knows what the child wants and needs and what's better for it in the long term. Just starting there and being able to reflect and observe the different voices inside of us is a great place to start your self-awareness. Because the biggest challenge is that most of us don't know what we're listening to. And we don't, most of us don't even know that there are more than one voice inside of us. Just getting over that line is a huge win. Because now at least you're trying to differentiate in what you're hearing. And that's gonna help you make better decisions in the future.